Hello everybody! So here is Luna Deliver again and I'm here to talk to you about projection. So as uh, you know if you've watched my previous video and if you noticed um, because you follow my channel uh, I'm having some trouble in my personal life at the moment and therefore I'm slowing down a lot and I'm not very active online either. I'm really spending a lot of time alone introspecting, introspecting and solving my real life issues. Uh, so, during my introspections and in this time off the net, I have pondered a little bit more about projection and what projection actually is and how projection works. And the truth that we do not all apply the not all anagram sixes, I mean, apply the same kind of projection, struck me with particular force. So, I thought to remake the projection video because I think it's useful to have it out there. And here I am, talking about projection. So, why is it so important to me to talk about projection? Because the definition of projection that you find out there is clear, but very misunderstood. A lot of people think that projection means uh, to... Any, any time that a person talks and says something that the other party doesn't like hearing, the, uh, this other party thinks that the person is projecting. No. Projection is not when someone says something uncomfortable to you that you don't like to hear. That's not projection. Projection is something else. If you see a person that is being rude, that is behaving in a very hostile fashion, and that is being aggressive towards anybody without any reason, and trust me, you don't know if there is no reason. There is no reason. Unless you're an eye dominant, you have no idea if they have a reason or not. Anyway, if these things are happening and the person tells you that you're rude and hostile, then they're probably, probably projecting. But it's also possible that you are also being rude and hostile. So do not assume that the other person is projecting. Also because even in Enneagram 6s, well, rewind, everybody applies projection Everybody applies denial, everybody apply reaction formation, everybody apply repression, everybody apply introspection, introjection, everybody apply rationalization, everybody applies isolation, everybody applies narcotization to an extent, and I think I listed them all. No, individuation and in, in identification, sorry. Everybody applies identification. I think I listed them all. Everybody applies every defense mechanism to an extent because otherwise it means you're not a healthy individual. The defense mechanism of Enneagram is the most applied, the one that is so much more applied than others that it stands out and it's blatant. So what I'm saying is that even among Enneagram 6s, it doesn't necessarily happen that this Enneagram 6 is blaming others of something. I, for example, am an anagram 6 that doesn't apply blaming. When I talk about blaming, I'm talking about the most, uh, and one, the most uh, recognized and known form of projection, the only form of projection that is known out there. And it's actually called, in psychology, bullying. What is it about? This is exactly what I was talking about. If the person is uh, a normally and generally rude individual, that constantly tells others that they're rude, it means that that person doesn't recognize in themselves being rude and they are attributing this thing to others. Again, it can happen that an anagram 7 tells you that you are offensive when actually you're not and that it is because they are offensive in general and they do not want to accept them about that accept that about themselves. It doesn't mean that because someone does that, they're an anagram 6. If you meet a counterphobic blaming anagram 6, trust me, you will know. 
Because what happens is that this person constantly blames everybody about the thing, about that specific thing. But anyway, if it is projection, it has to be a pattern, a trend of behavior, a repetitive thing in the person's, in the person's uh, speech, in the person's accusations. And it has to always be the same thing over time to a range, towards a range of people that are actually not displaying that behavior. So, for example, someone calling rude people that are actually being, actually being extremely polite. That's someone that is projecting. Someone that is calling rude a range of people that are actually being rude is probably someone with very, very clear way on so that knows what they're talking about. And that is not projection. Projection in uh, uh, any kind of person blaming, bullying, is normally used when it doesn't make sense. You notice it because it's very used and it doesn't make sense. There is no reason to use that adjective in that specific circumstance, but the person, it's completely out of place, but the person still is fully persuaded that that is the perfect adjective for that circumstance. Unless they're a foreigner and they're not actually aware of what the adjective means. But in that case, they will admit it and you will know. So <laughs> anyway, talking about psychological reactions, that's when you see bullying. And when I talk about bullying, I literally mean bullying. So I am a counterphobic six. And like I said, I do not apply bullying. And that's because I belong in the minority of so to speak, codependent and everyone, and a codependent, uh, yeah, and everyone sixes, counterphobic sixes. Counterphobic reaction can be aggressive or submissive. And that's something I talk about in my anagram six video in, in case you're interested. But anyway, I personally do not apply bullying. And I instead know, I do not, I will not say from what, re, from what realm, but, uh, well, yeah. Anyway. I know an anagram six that is an aggressive counterphobic six that applies bullying. And this person constantly yells and at everybody that they are unreliable, that they are stupid, and that they are irresponsible. So this person tells that to anybody, and when he does, he blames them, literally blames them, using guilt, trying to instill guilt in them, trying to make them feel guilty about that. So that's bullying. It's literally bullying. It's someone trying to make you feel bad about yourself for something that you never did. And that's why it's called bullying, because it's always revolved towards the person and applied directly to the person. So it's face to face. And like I said, among anagram sixes, it's most widespread in the counterphobic, in the aggressive counterphobic anagram sixes. Then we have uh, another two kinds of projection that you may have heard about and you may recognize. One is victim blaming, which happens when, for example, a girl has been raped and someone around them starts going like, someone starts going about uh, how she was wearing a short, short, short skirt and she shouldn't have worn a short skirt if she didn't want to be raped, that it was her fault for wearing clothes that uh, uh, attracted uh, um, predators uh, and all that kind of talk. That is victim blaming, blaming, and it's a form of projection. As you can, as you can see, it's a very widespread form of projection that does not belong specifically to anagram sexes, and it's very, very commonly used. A lot of people out there use victim blaming. Uh, I personally did it at some point, but I noticed immediately, and it happens probably, it happened probably once or twice in my life, and. But anyway, no, I'm not particularly prone to victim, victim blaming because I tend to see the victim as a victim. 
that's probably me being a feeler. Uh, this the victim blaming approach is probably more a thinker kind of thing. Anyway, the third sort is another well-known and very loved sort of projection, and it's a projection of marital guilt to the person that has an attraction for someone else, and instead of admitting this attraction and working on their problems and trying to solve the problem in the couple, they blame their partner for having an affair with someone else. So that is projection of marital guilt. So the person feels guilty for having an attraction. Sometimes it can even be an innocent form of uh, appreciation of the body of someone else uh, that the person is uh, not accepting and therefore projecting onto the partner. And they're blaming the partner of literally having an affair. That's how far it goes. Uh, this is a form that aggressive anagram sexes particularly love. But this is a form that also phobic sexes apply a lot. And it's widespread, but not that much outside of sexes, if I have to be honest. I've seen an anagram one apply this kind of projection once. Anyway... These are the best known, the most uh, recognized and known forms uh, of projection. Sorry, I'm looking for my list because it slipped away, it disappeared. There you are. Then there are two forms of projection. I, wanted, I want to have them there to be sure that I'm still listing everything. Anyway, there are two forms of projection that nobody knows around, knows about, that happen to anagram sixes a lot, and nobody is aware of them, their existence. And these are my, my particular brands. This is my brand of anagram six, I admit it. <laughs> this is my guilt, my, my place of, uh, my, the, the point where I truly have issues. The first thing I will talk about is projection of general guilt, also known as projection of a severe conscience. What I personally do to apply this thing is that I have in my mind the awareness of what an ESTJ is. So ESTJ, because ESTJ is my conflictor, it's the type that re would require of me everything that makes me suffer. Same applies for me towards them. If an anagram six, an anagram six ESTJ used this kind of projection, they would have in their mind everything that an INFJ is. So, I have in my mind... Everything that an ESTJ is, and I know exactly how an ESTJ works, because it makes, it makes me suffer greatly. What, why is this a form of projection? Because every single time that I find myself in, fr in front of my authority, which in my personal case, uh, it's my boyfriend, I attribute him... ESTJ characteristics. So I assume, for example, that he will listen to people more than he does to me, which is an, a TE dominant trait. Or I will assume that he will impose me how to do things instead of telling me to do things. This is applying this... Uh, Projection of severe conscience. So basically, the, the person has in their head, in their mind, a clear view, a subconscious view, but clear view of how the enemy would behave and they project these traits onto the authority, onto the other people. So the person that starts getting scared or anxious about something you're not doing and tells you you're doing this, you will do this, you will do this. That's probably an NI type uh, that is an anagram 6 or is using anyway, even if they're not an anagram 6. This projection of general guilt. And it's 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 particular, particularly widespread as far as I see Naranjo 
among the SO subtype, the Prussian character of Anagram 6, which is not my type, but anyway, uh, I've seen it, I notice in the traits of that specific uh, type, of that specific uh, instinctual variant, uh, that uh, it applies a lot. And that's because uh, the person that applies uh, this uh, projection of general guilt is more prone to stick to the rules uh, for fear to anger the authority. And these rules are internally produced to counter this, uh, this uh, enemy authority that, they're, that they have in their mind and they're projecting, projecting externally. This is the projection of general guilt. So basically, you are aware, you're subconsciously know, or you're either aware or you subconsciously know that you're not able to do that kind of thing, or that you, you would feel awful in that specific setting with that specific kind of behavior, and you attribute that thing to the external authority, hence behave in a way that will not let this trait of the authority be confirmed. Or you behave in a way that confirms the, the thing, because that's the counterphobic stance in Anagram 6. The last thing is uh, one of my favorite things also, this one I apply profusely, and it's a projection of hope. Meaning that sometimes the person projects their feeling of hope onto the therapist, but it also means projecting positive traits of the person onto others. So these are people that see everybody as super intelligent, as uh, super smart, as super witty, super super fun, super super sweet, super cuddly, super innocent, and they're actually themselves all of these things. This is something I've, I've been told thousands of times, and this is one of my forms of projection. I tend to see everybody as very sweet, very soft, very tender, when actually I'm being told that that's me. And that's because uh, that happens when the person feels uh, guilty attributing themselves positive traits. So it can sound, this kind of six can mistype themselves uh, as uh, an anagram four, exactly because it sounds a little bit like uh, introjection. Introjection works uh, by attributing oneself all negative traits. Uh, uh, to and, and beating themselves up, the, the anagram force tend to beat themselves up for all these negative traits uh, that they attribute themselves uh, and they absorb from the external world. And that's basically, I punish myself in advance so that nothing will come from the external world. So this projection of hope kind of sounds, feels the same way, that's why at some point I thought I was an anagram for. But it's actually very different, and the difference is in the fact that it's not attributing oneself uh, negative traits, uh, but recognizing part of one's own negative traits and uh, projecting every positive trait onto others. So, so basically the person feels uh, completely void of positivity and positive traits. Uh, it's very difficult to work on if you have this, uh, I, I, I'm on your side, I cheer, I cheer you up, uh, I'm on your side, um, you're not alone, I'm working on that also, I know how it feels, it's difficult to work on that one, and, but we can do it, we can do it, I know we can. So, yeah, this is projection and how projection actually works. So even if you have and a certain anagram 6 in front of you, do not take for granted that they're going to blame you for their own problems, because some of them do not. And it's probably instead that you need to check yourself, even if you're an anagram 5 or 7 or 9 or whatever, for your own projections. Eradicating stuff that is not belonging in the core problem is always a fraction of a second. It's not difficult at all. So... Check yourselves, because this is what projection is truly about and how projection actually works. This is everything I have about, about the matter. I hope it helped, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.